today we're in Charlton looking at the remains of a shipbreaker's yard. So behind me we can see people working on a huge big stack of ship's timbers um, and Elliot's going to be describing in this episode how we record and uh, how we try and understand the structure. The volunteers have come down here today in Charlton to record this timber structure. What we're going to do is try and put together a series of measured drawings of the structure and the timbers that form its parts. The first thing we have to do uh, when we come down is to clean the structure up. As you can see, there's a lot of river iron silt that covers this and is brought down by the tide. So, first of all, we've brushed the structure and cleaned it up. Once the timbers are clean, uh, we can try to start drawing them. We've already had a team from the Museum of London come down and put in a series of points uh, using little nails across the structure. These nails are surveyed in and so we can tie them directly into the Ordnance Survey. From one point to another we can then string a 30 metre tape and that's what we call a baseline. From our baseline, at 90 degrees, we can measure off and we use gridded paper and then we can plot the points to show the ends and the sides of the timbers. Then you join the dots together and hey presto, you have your drawing of your timbers. Uh, we'll be doing this for the whole structure and indeed all the other uh, timbers and uh, various features on this side. Not only will we be drawing the timbers, but each of these individual timbers will be given a context number and we'll do a sheet called a timber sheet for each timber. We'll record how the wood is cut, um, the size of it, the shape of it, if there are any joints or fixings at all which give us an idea of the construction types used. And what we'll aim to do is then identify the top part of the ship that each timber came from. And with a bit of luck, given the amount of timbers we have here, we may be able to find the actual vessel that they came from. We hope this film's given you an idea of the kinds of things that we're doing down on site and look forward to seeing you down at one of our key sites in the future where all the things that you'll be learning will enable you to be able to go out and record the foreshore on your own.